clean enough to handle the mysteries of God. Our hands will always remain dirty and soiled and tainted by sin. But every day you will hold the holy body of the Lord. Every day your lips will drink from the chalice of the Lord. Every day you will speak the word of God to God's people. You will handle the mystery of God's love and that call will always be a mystery for us. The priest will not be able to completely understand how much God loves him. Because if the priest would understand how much God loves him, he would die on the spot. Because his heart is too small, his body is too small, his understanding is too little to comprehend the mystery of God's love for him. And pain will always be a mystery. The cross will always be a mystery. And the sufferings in the lives of priests will always be a mystery. Sometimes that suffering can come from within the church, from his own brother priests, and even from us bishops. Sometimes the pain and the cross can come from the same parishioners for whom he is willing to die. Sometimes that cross will come from the same church, from the same community, from the same friends. Sometimes that cross, that pain, can also come from himself because he knows that he is a sign of contradiction, that he is struggling with so many faults, that he needs to be healed with so many sins, that he has secret skeletons in the closet known only to God, and those will cause sufferings. When you give your very best and then you harvest nothing, when you give your very best and you harvest a whirlwind. When you give your very best and you harvest terror and violence against you. Who does not know disappointment? Who has never been frustrated? Who has never been hurt after loving? Who has never been hurt after giving so much and then not expecting very much, what we reap is gossip or intrigue or backstabbing or even worse, attempts on our lives. Can we love without getting disappointed? Can we serve without getting disappointed? And the answer, my dear brothers and sisters, is we cannot love and not not be disappointed. Because part of loving while we are still here on earth is the reality of being disappointed. That is why the Lord who is fully human allowed himself to be disappointed, to be frustrated, to be hurt by the very same people he loved, to be hurt by the very same people he wanted to save, to be hurt by the very same people who were ridiculing him, and to choose to say, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing, even if they have not yet asked for forgiveness, even if they have not yet acknowledged their sins. Can we love without getting disappointed? No. And then the next question is, maybe we should stop loving so that we will not be disappointed? And the answer is still no. Why are we always disappointed here on earth? Why do we have to suffer rejection while we are alive? Why are our dreams frustrated? Why do our friends become traitors? Why do our children turn against us after bringing them up so well? Why? The answer is because we are living in this world and everything in this world is limited. Everything in this world is blemished. Everything in this world is imperfect. And so it is with the way we love. 
with the way we love here on earth, we are blemished, we are weak, we are subject to temptation, we carry the roots of original sin in our love. Ang sagot po, bakit masakit magmahal? Kasi wala ka pa sa langit. Kung nasa langit na tayo, wala nang sakit magmahal. Habang tayo ay nasa sa lupa, mayroong sakit ang pagmamahal. Mayroong disappointment ang pagmamahal. Sapagkat hindi pwedeng mapuno ng kahit sinong tao o kahit anong pangyayari yung ating pagnanasa na mahalin. There is no one, there is nothing here on earth who will ever be able to satisfy our longing, our deep longing to be loved. So what should we do? The first is accept. The second is grieve. And the third is try again. Three words to do, my dear brothers and sisters. If you have been disappointed, if you have been hurt by those you love, accept. Accept that love is like that. And accept that you are like that too. That you have been hurt and you have also hurt. And everybody has been hurt. And everybody has hurt somebody sometime in this life. Grieve. Let your soul be cleansed by the tears from your heart. If there is a lump in your throat and you are tempted not to love at all, cry. Cry with the Lord. Cry over it because crying will clean you. But don't cry forever. Start again and keep on trying. And believe me, you will get hurt again. And believe me, you will cry again. But just keep on trying and trying and trying until that day comes when we breathe our last and we can say, I have loved, I have hurt, I have been hurt. I have been sorry. I have grieved. I will try again. And in heaven, we can love without disappointment. We can love without frustration. We can love without pain. Because we will see, we will be seeing the face of our loving God.